that we don't have to invent any wheels. I believe in that. As so long as we put our passion, our heart into it, it all comes together. Watch Rafael Ronca in the kitchen and his passion for creating amazing dishes is easy to see. The winner of Food Network's popular show Chopped is the co-owner and executive chef of Raphael Rye, where he takes diners on a culinary tour of his native Italy. Center to south, meaning starting in Tuscany all the way down to Sicily. There are two brick ovens in the open kitchen, one for pizza, the other for cooking dishes that are traditionally made on the stove or in a regular oven. The smoky flavor is quite amazing to finish all our dishes in here. Like the branzino, made simply with lemon, garlic, fresh Italian herbs, rosemary and white wine. The juices that are cooked in, quite fantastic. This tastes like heaven, like you're right in it's the same concept he uses at his Manhattan restaurant. He opened this spot a year ago after some regular customers from Westchester convinced him to branch out. After sitting in two hours, three hours of traffic, we started saying, hey, you've got to bring this to Westchester. Co-owner Ann Mara, her husband Tim Cacase, and another couple helped find the spot. By the way, Ann is from that Mara family, owners of my beloved New York football giants. She's the daughter of the late Wellington Mara, and I just had to get her take on the recent switch from legendary quarterback Eli Manning to rookie Daniel Jones. It was a sad day in my house, but um, I'm so happy for Daniel. I'm just very hopeful. Aside from the restaurant and the G-men, Anne has another passion, the San Miguel Academy in Newburgh, a tuition-free school for at-risk boys. Like her late mother, Anne dedicates a great deal of time to the school by bringing the boys to Raphael Rye and MetLife Stadium. It's run by a man named Father Mark, and what he does for these kids is just unbelievable. He actually is saving their lives and their families' lives. I love garlic. Love it, love, love it, love it, love it. Back in the kitchen, Chef Raph is making us his zuppa de bescia, and instead of using the traditional tomato sauce for the fish stew, he uses sweet cherry tomatoes. Thank God for tomatoes. Otherwise, Italians would be in a lot of trouble. And garlic. Beautiful calamari, gamberetti, scallops. Eh? Because all these flavors will bring you to the Amalfi Coast. The dish is then covered with freshly made pizza dough and popped into the brick oven. Spectacular. Amalfi Coast. Eccolo qua. Chef Rav only uses fresh pasta that's house made for dishes like the heavenly gnocchi made with San Marzano and cherry tomatoes plus melted buffalo mozzarella and the parpadelli pasta in a lamb ragu sauce. And there's the cheesecake. Food and Wine magazine calls it one of the best in America, made with buffalo ricotta. Then a little bit of love. Now we may be sitting on Purchase Street, but I'm telling you one bite of this, you will swear you have been whisked away to Italy. And Chef Rapp is about to roll out his fall menu, so there's even more creative stuff coming this way. We're having lunch in Rye, Lisa LaRocca, News 12. Oh, one more thing. Look at what Anne gave me, and it's got Eli's signature on it! Come and we'll